This emotionally poignant and visually delectable drama is a coming of age story and a coming of love story. Deep rooted, solid talent with sprinkled with pure, undressed, unprocessed sparkles of life. Picture this, a Hollywood legacy shrouded in mystery, an actress with a lineage as illustrious as the silver screen itself, and a life filled with more twists and turns than a blockbuster thriller. Intrigued? You should be. Because today, we're peeling back the glamorous facade to uncover the untold story of a woman who's not just an actress, but a living embodiment of Hollywood royalty. Get ready to dive deep into the enigmatic world of Dakota Johnson, where family ties, career highs, and the secrets of love collide in a captivating tale you won't want to miss. Hey there, fellow cinephiles, welcome back to Celeb Exploration. Today, we're embarking on a journey that's equal parts riveting and revealing as we lift the curtain on one of Hollywood's most intriguing figures, Dakota Johnson. From her lineage as the offspring of Hollywood legends to her meteoric rise in the film industry and the whispers surrounding her private life, Dakota's story is a captivating blend of fame, fortune, and a few well-guarded secrets. So buckle up and prepare to be swept away as we explore every facet of Dakota Johnson's life. You may know her from the Fifty Shades trilogy, but there's so much more to Dakota Johnson than meets the eye. From her acting prowess to her famous lineage and intriguing love life, this is one journey you don't want to miss. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's take a peek inside the world of Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson, born into Hollywood royalty, inherited a legacy of acting. We'll unravel how her upbringing influenced her career choices and the unique challenges she faced as the offspring of two Tinseltown legends. Dakota Mai Johnson was born on October 4, 1989, is an American actress. The daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith, she made her film debut at age 10 with a minor role in Crazy in Alabama, 1999 with her mother. After graduating from high school, she began auditioning for roles in Los Angeles and was cast in a minor part in The Social Network, 2010. She has a Hollywood pedigree from both of her parents, Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. My parents, especially my dad, really wanted me to go to college, but I didn't. I wanted to work, and I didn't feel like I was the kind of person that could learn what I wanted to do by being in a classroom. I think they knew that they couldn't really stop me. Furthermore, the Madame Webb star is the granddaughter of Tippi Hedren and the stepdaughter of Antonio Banderas. Growing up with silver screen parents inspired Dakota to go into what she always just considered the family business. But Don says she didn't need his help anyway. No, she doesn't really call me for advice, he said on Late Night with Seth Meyers in March 2021. She calls me to say, gosh, I would see you, but I've got three pictures that I'm shooting at the same time. While Dakota's parents love talking about their daughter as well as her longtime boyfriend, Coldplay frontman Chris Martin, now a household name in her own right, she speaks about them less frequently. Here's everything Dakota has said about her famous parents. Dakota says she didn't attend a full year of school in one place until she was in fourth grade because she traveled almost constantly while they worked on sets around the world. Griffith described raising Dakota as a lucky gypsy. I am incredibly lucky, and the life I led growing up was remarkable. The places I went and how we lived and what we were able to experience, Dakota said. But we also struggled with internal family dynamics and situations and events that are so traumatic. She attended high school in one place for all four years while living with Griffith and Banderas in Los Angeles. Don explained on Late Night with Seth Meyers in March 2021 how and why he cut off Dakota financially when she finished high school. Toward the end of high school, I went to Dakota and I said, so do you want to go visit some colleges or something like that, he recalled. And she was like, oh, no, I'm not going to college. He said that she responded, don't you worry about it. Three weeks later, Dakota was cast in the social network. Don said proudly, and the rest is, shall we say, cinema history. Dakota knew from a young age that she wanted to be a star. However, her parents discouraged her from acting. See how well that turned out? But I understood, she told W Magazine. They wanted me to have as much of a childhood as I could. 
Griffith says she was worried about Dakota working in Hollywood, but that she was never worried about whether she had the talent and the magic. I knew how tough it was to navigate all the aspects of filmmaking, and I hope she learned some good tips from me. I think she did, Griffith said. But it's Dakota's sense of self and her awareness of life, love, and hard work that has gotten her through scary times. Griffith and Don have each supported Dakota at other premieres for less raunchy movies, including How to Be Single. Dakota hosted SNL in 2015 while promoting Fifty Shades of Grey, and her famous parents made cameos during her opening monologue. It's actually really incredible that I'm standing on this stage right now, because in December 1988, my mother stood in this exact spot and hosted SNL, she said. Right after the show, my father got down on one knee and he proposed to her for the second time. And exactly nine months later, I was born. I must have been conceived that night after the show, or maybe even during the show. It's actually really incredible that I'm standing on this stage right now because in December of 1988, my mother stood in this exact spot and hosted SNL. Right after the show, my father got down on one knee and he proposed to her for the second time. <laughs> and exactly nine months later, I was born. So I must have, thanks for that. <laughs> one clap. <laughs> so I must have been conceived that night after the show, or maybe even during the show. The camera panned to Griffith and Don in the crowd, pretending to hide their faces. Dakota asked if they were embarrassed about the story, to which Don replied, no, we were just afraid you were going to be naked. When she returned to host the show in January 2024, Griffith and Banderas joined her at the SNL after party to show their support. Ahead of Dakota's latest turn at hosting the show, Griffith reshared one of her promo videos on Instagram, calling her daughter a comedienne extraordinaire. Banderas split from Griffith in 2015 after 20 years of marriage, but Dakota remains close to the Puss in Boots star. While presenting him with the Hollywood Actor Award at the Hollywood Film Awards in November 2019, Dakota reflected on the ways Banderas, who she called an unbelievably bright light, changed her life when he married Griffith. My stepfather, Antonio Banderas, burst into our lives. He was so vibrant and so fun and so funny, and his English was abstract, she said on stage. We found it absolutely amazing. He loved my mother and my siblings and I so fiercely and so big and so loud that it would change all of our lives forever. Antonio taught me about true passion and discipline. My stepfather, Antonio Banderas, burst into our lives. He was so vibrant and so fun and so funny, and his English was abstract. <laughs> and we found it absolutely amazing. <laughs> he, he loved my mother and my siblings and I so fiercely and so big and so loud that it would change all of our lives forever. Bandera said in a December 2022 interview, news that Dakota called him Paponio, a combination of Papi and Antonio, was growing up. He added of her honoring him on stage. She gave it to me and she gave one of the most beautiful speeches that anybody has given me. So I was very thankful to know that she thought that about Poppy. Dakota doesn't have social media, but Griffith posts photos of her often, which Dakota told James Corden on The Late Show in January 2022 peeved her. I don't like it, but I don't go on social media, so I don't find out about it until it's really like baked into the internet, she said and somebody will send it to me like you were so ugly or you were so cute when you had braces and a slicked back ponytail. Dakota said she becomes like a 12 year old and tells Griffith, mom, you can't do that. We've had this conversation so many times, she doesn't care. From her breakout role in the social network to the globally acclaimed Fifty Shades series, Dakota has proven herself as a versatile actress. Join us as we revisit some of her most iconic roles and explore the accolades that have solidified her status in the industry. In 1999, Johnson made her film debut in Crazy in Alabama, where she and her half-sister Stella Banderas played daughters to their real-life mother, Melanie Griffith. 
The film was directed by her ex-stepfather, Antonio Banderas. In 2006, she was chosen as Miss Golden Globe 2006, where she served as the first second-generation Miss Golden Globe in the Globus history. In 2006, Johnson signed with IMG Models. Though acting is her primary work, she has since modeled for Mango Brand's jeans line in 2009 and shot the Rising Star campaign for Australian fashion label Wish in 2011. After graduating from high school, Johnson took acting classes with teacher Tom Todorov until 2008. She signed with the William Morris Agency and started her acting career. She had a minor role as Amelia Ritter in the Oscar-nominated hit film The Social Network, 2010, directed by David Fincher. Sean Parker found in Napster. Nice to meet you. You're Sean Parker? Aha! You see, the shoe's on the other, uh... Foot? Table, which is turned. I just slept with Sean Parker. You just slept on Sean Parker. She had a small role in the fantasy film Beastly 2007, followed by So Young Kim's drama for Ellen, 2012, opposite of Paul Dano and John Heder, about a struggling musician in the midst of a custody battle. Also in 2012, she had roles in Christopher Neal's independent comedy Goats, portraying a student at a prep school, Nicholas Stoller's romantic comedy The Five-Year Engagement, and the comedy 21 Jump Street. Sounds like you guys really cracked the whole case. Great job, you guys are on fire. So proud. Like you could do any better? We just brought down a group of wannabe thugs stripping down cars in the Garfield High Metal Shop. She also played the female lead in Chris Nelson's film Date and Switch, written by Alan Yang. In March 2012, Johnson was cast as Kate in the Fox comedy series Ben and Kate, marking her television debut. The show was canceled on January 25, 2013, after one season. Mom, good morning. What are we doing today? Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, seriously, what are we doing today? Ben, no. What time is it? It's 5.010. It's 5.010. Yes, go back to sleep. I can't. I'm too excited. I'm ready to crush the day. Open. Johnson quickly resumed her film career with a small role in Need for Speed, 2014. In 2013, she had a role as one of the new hires on the series finale episode of the NBC comedy series, The Office. Johnson's breakthrough came with her leading role as Anastasia Anna Steele in the erotic romantic drama film Fifty Shades of Grey, which was released in February 2015 and brought her international recognition. Is this because of the contract? Because I still haven't signed it? the contract. I think it's a little redundant, don't you? So then the rules are redundant too? No, the rules stand. Johnson won the role over Lucy Hale, Felicity Jones, Elizabeth Olsen, Danielle Panabaker, and Shailene Woodley. In 2015, Johnson starred in Luca Guadagnino's thriller, A Bigger Splash, alongside Tilda Swinton, Matthias Schoenertz, and Ralph Fiennes. Writing for Rolling Stone, Peter Travers stated that Johnson showed that her character has more on her mind than slithering seductively. According to Christy Lemire from RogerEbert.com, a bigger splash allows Johnson to be both funnier and sexier than she was in Fifty Shades of Grey. The same year saw the release of Cymbeline, a modern film adaptation of the William Shakespeare play, in which she starred opposite Ethan Hawke and Ed Harris. She also played a lead in the 2016 comedy How to Be Single, with Leslie Mann and her Date and Switch co-star, Nicholas Braun. She performed a cover of the song, can't Take My Eyes Off of You, alongside actors Zani Jones, Mbaise, Vanessa Rubio, and Damon Wayans Jr. for the soundtrack of the film. Johnson was invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in June 2016. Her career in the glamour of Hollywood is at its peak. With best wishes for her future endeavors, let's move on to the romantic aspect of her life. Now, let's talk about matters of the heart. Dakota Johnson's love life has been a subject of much speculation. From high-profile relationships to maintaining privacy, we'll navigate through the twists and turns of her romantic journey. It's not hard to get jealous of these men that Dakota Johnson has gone out with, so try your hardest to contain your envy. Who is Dakota Johnson dating? Many famous men have dated Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson. He was funny and we 
like got along on a comedic level and that was really important and different than anyone that had come in before. And this list will give you more details about these lucky dudes. After Chris Martin and his ex-wife, Gwyneth Paltrow, consciously uncoupled in 2014 and finalized their divorce in 2016, the Coldplay singer began a relationship with actress Dakota Johnson sometime in 2017. Since then, the couple have had a decidedly private relationship that appears to consist of walks on the beach and family vacations with Martin and Paltrow's children. Although rumors have swirled about the couple's engagement, the pair has yet to comment on the speculation. After almost a year of speculation, Johnson finally seemed to acknowledge her relationship with Martin during a 2018 interview with Tatler. In November 2018, Johnson met the family over Thanksgiving dinner. In this case, the family consisted of Martin's ex-wife, Paltrow, her new husband, Brad Falchuk, and Martin and Paltrow's two children, Apple and Moses. While Martin's former relationship was relatively public, Chris and Dakota are notoriously low profile and have yet to walk a red carpet together. They had a rumored months-long split in 2019, yet even that's impossible to confirm since the pair is so private. However, in October 2021, Martin publicly dedicated his song Universe to Johnson during a Coldplay concert. This is about my universe and she's here, he said to the audience. Ever since Dakota Johnson's dating history became a question in light of X, the former Twitter's bisexuality theory for the star. So it's like I can't win. It's yeah. like I either, I don't, I hate sex toys, so why yeah. am I doing this movie? Or, or I right. love them and I'm a sex fiend? You theme? should just give an answer. <laughs> just say one that doesn't exist. Just be like, the scrambler. Yeah. <laughs> Users on the social media platform began taking a deep look at her friendship with 27-year-old model Cara Delevingne. I think it's time to remind everyone that Dakota Johnson and Cara Delevingne were possibly dating back in 2016, wrote one ex-user. According to photos shared on social media, Johnson and Delevingne spent plenty of time together in 2015 and 2016 and were even spotted hanging out with friends Taylor Swift and Zoe Kravitz. Whether the pair was actually an item remains to be proven, but hey, we wouldn't rule it out. Dakota Johnson's dating history doesn't confirm nor deny that she's bisexual, but it definitely does a good job of proving that the actress has a thing for long-term relationships. You guys have completely rocked my world and changed my life, and I am so incredibly grateful. Um, thank you for supporting our movie. Thank you to everyone at Universal. Dakota's relationship with the indie guitarist and singer Matt Hitt is just one of her latest to fit the bill. The duo began dating in September 2014 before splitting for a time in early 2015. The on-again, off-again pair decided to get back together again sometime that year until they officially called it quits in 2016. Dakota and Matthew have dated on and off for the past two years, a source told Just Jared at the time. According to the source, they didn't get a chance to see much of each other recently because their work schedules didn't align. She's been up in Vancouver shooting the Fifty Shades trilogy. Matthew James Hitt is a model and the lead singer and guitarist for the American Welsh indie rock band Drowners. Another one of Dakota's rumored relationships is with actor Jordan Masterson, aka half-brother, to that 70s show star, Danny Masterson. Jordan Masterson is an American actor. He played Zeb, a five-year-old boy, in Danielle Steele's 1993 TV adaptation of Star. The now 34-year-old reportedly dated Dakota sometime in 2013, though it's unclear when the pair split. Hands down, one of Dakota's longest relationships was with musician and childhood sweetheart, Noah Gersh. According to multiple sources, the Fifty Shades franchise actress began dating Noah when she was either 16 or 17 in high school. Gersh would be Dakota's anchor for her remaining years in school and for some years later, writes Mark Shapiro in the unauthorized biography of Dakota Johnson. And there you have it, folks. An exclusive look inside the world of Dakota Johnson. From her early years, career achievement to her love life, from her acting triumphs to navigating the complexities of fame and relationships, Dakota has truly etched her mark in Hollywood, 
If you enjoyed this deep dive, give us thumbs up and let us know in the comments which celebrity you'd like us to explore next. Don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive content. Until next time, we are signing off. Stay curious. Stay entertained.